Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to No Man's Sky Orbital. Uh, we're spending a little bit of time today on this uh, extreme survival planet. There's uh, lots of stuff and things to do here. And uh, also, uh, we're preparing for the autophage mission. Uh, I'm getting a lot more than I need, but... Uh, oh, hello, that just changed. I didn't know those things changed. Um, we, are, uh, we have extreme survival. Uh, we are uh, at level two, working on level three, and that's just because I've been running around making sure that there's dissonant resonators and stuff, and I need to empty some of this out. <laughs> there's the storage augmentation I got for doing that mission, and uh, we don't need the stuff for the... Um, the guilds. Here's all the repair kits from uh, doing derelicts. Boy, that made me so mad. That's more guild stuff. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep. Nope, yep. Nope. That goes there. Uh, there's a thing. There's some more stuff. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, yeah, that can go on the ship. That can go on the freighter. Uh, one of these days I'll go see Cronus. That can go on the ship. Uh, that's plenty of room. Okay, so uh, what we need to do, first of all, is recharge our secondary uh, thing, my bob. I'm looking for red dots. Uh, here happens to be some Atlanta DM. So uh, while we're doing this, we are in fact going to need runaway mold. So uh, somewhere I've got some goo. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, the activated indium. That can go back on the freighter. Here it comes. Um, let's just go back to our inventory and plunk it in that way. Uh, so, in order to make runaway mold, we need to get to living slime. This is going to give us viscous fluids. And uh, I think I saw some in there, maybe. Yeah, I do. I have some right there. So once that's done, we'll add that to the viscous fluids and make some living slime. And then from there, we'll make some runaway mold. In the meantime, that should be auto-charging. Uh, Auto-charge enabled. It's already at 100%. I think I fell in that hole already. Alright, so this is an extreme storm, and there are storm crystals here. Hazardous whiteouts. There's also... Uh, both kinds of sentinels and gravitino balls. It is an extreme extreme. Okay, I heard that kick off. So now we will move that and pick up the other one. There it is. We'll add that and that'll give us 151 living slime. I don't remember exactly how much runaway mold it was. I think it was like 60 or something like that. Red dots? Stormbirds? Alright. Uh, let's go over here to this dissonant, dissonance resonator <laughs> and see what it's got. Oh, it's already dead. I don't know why it's still marked. Why are you still marked? Did I not get close enough? Alright, let's find another one. Uh, let's see here. Before I end up going back the same way. Oh, that looked so different. Well, there's some radiant shards, but storm crystals might be competing here. Oh, evil plants of evil. But we could definitely use these storm crystals. Uh, we can use them to buy standing with uh, one of the guilds, I think it is. Let's go over here. Now, I just found a bunch of these things. You won't believe me. But <laughs> it may be that I need to go somewhat away from this area. Get some nitrate. Get some Atlantidium. You need a fair amount of that. Uh, not to finish the autophage mission but to continue it. Hey, there's some storm crystals. Dang it! Ouch. 
<laughs> I've already scanned you. <laughs> Very windy. There is. Oh, we got Fecium that time. We'll put that away. I've been getting uh, the uh, slime and stuff for that. Alright. Uh, I know you couldn't hear it, but one of my shields just went down. So I'm going to go ahead and charge up that secondary shield. And uh, we'll go in here. Grab the living slime, and that makes runaway mold. It's one to one, which is good. This is my favorite way to get extreme survival is by searching for storm crystals. Uh, the, also, they're valuable because that storm is going to stop. Uh, let's go get some more radiant shards, I guess. A couple of them. You only need one radiant shard uh, for the actual mission. But what I'm looking for is another resonator. What's that thing right there? I've deployed wheat. So we'll just keep running around. As long as you stay on the planet, uh, you can hang out at a trade post if you want to. Uh, under the shelter of a trade post, you shouldn't have to deal with your uh, shields at all. But um, you can hang out at a trade post to get your survival time. But wow, that's boring. And it takes a really long time. And uh, the tricky part about it is, of course, that... Uh, if you should die, um, your actual rating will stay the same, but you'll have to redo all the time that led up to that rating to get to the next part. So you definitely don't want to die. So uh, bring a shield for whatever kind of planet you find. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Uh, bring a shield for whatever kind of planet you find and keep charging it. Don't don't try to, you know, ignore it and be brave because you're just going to cause yourself a lot of uh, irritation and aggravation having to repeat all that time. And it does take a long time. And we're not going to get anywhere near it today. So uh, we might get level 3 while we're out here waiting for another storm. I see a health box. There it is. And we'll grab that metal. Uh, we don't need this health box. If you're ever curious, put a gun on and on uh, keyboard hit the letter H and that will show you your crosses up there. If they're full, you don't need that health box. So there's no reason to seek them out and waste them. Could I have gotten all of these resonators in this area? I may have. Oh, there's a building. Oh, there's a resonator. Very cool. Let's go get that resonator. So not every resonator has an echolocator, which is the device that you're after in order to do the autophage mission. <laughs> you know, I used to yell at Series Lee's Gaming about his rocket boots all the time. Oh, I just got the uh, whatever word for Federation. Must have been Gek. Uh, this one here is an inverted mirror. You will need that for the ship. This isn't the best weapon for doing this. Oh, are you mad, are you? If you're not going to shoot at me, I'm not going to shoot at you. Alright. Where'd that building go? 
There it is, right there. So, uh, some changes were made. Now, I have heard various people say that you cannot get extreme survival from inside of a base. I disagree. <laughs> I think they're wrong. I think it's possible that uh, maybe they died and they had to start all over again and that's why their extreme survival didn't advance. But I have always uh, built an extreme survival base, especially on permadeath. And uh, the only thing you need is a, a single roof over your head. So, oh, this is an abandoned building. I don't need the gun. Um, all you need is a single roof over your head to stop yourself from having an issue. Ah, there's some living slime directly. That's awesome. All of this uh, goes to nanites. Uh, eventually so if you pick up the runaway mold and put it in it'll give you uh, nanites but we, we want the uh, the runaway mold so we're not gonna do that um, where the heck did this living slime go there we go so it's uh, this goo which is usually right here residual goo um, we may as well grab it. And we'll get these nanites. Returning user identified. The Atlas knows me, you know. I spat upon its face. Oh, the word is broke. Oh, maybe not. Hey, we got a word anyway. Even though the word's broken. <laughs> Here's another one. I'm just getting extra stuff because I can. There we go. <laughs> Another inverted mirror. Yeah? You talking to me? You looking at me? Looking at you? <laughs> you just settle down. Hey, bug. Bug, bug, bug. Bug, bug, bug. What? <laughs> so let's, uh, let me see how many radiant shards I've picked up. Uh, Twelve. We can pick up some more of those. We'll put that away. And uh, so we have the uh, residual goop. Let's grab that. Oh, it's so much easier to do it the other way around. Pick up the residual goop and put that in. That goes to viscous fluids. Oh, cool. More storm crystals. And then uh, viscous fluids goes to living slime, then living slime to runaway mold, and then runaway mold to nanites, if that's what you want. Just picking up more Atlanta DM here. And there's a radiant shard. Let's see right there. It says radiant shard on it in purple. It's very hard to see. I suppose you could argue that everything on a frozen planet is really hard to see. <laughs> These Christy stompers are gigantic. Oh, I must have run out of juice. <laughs> So we can trade these crystals, or we can use them for hypercores, or we can sell them for cash, but we don't need this kind of cash. This is a uh, beginning of save kind of cash. And uh, I'll just show you a stack of crystals here. Here's a full stack, uh, 2.1 million. 
So really good for the beginning of a save, but we have 62 million, so it's not really going to make a huge difference in our lives. There we go. Oopsie daisy. Now, if you do this on a cold planet, um, I just happen to like doing it on a cold planet, but if you do this on a cold planet, be mindful that your jetpack isn't going to work as well. It works better on a hot planet or during a hot storm. Um, unknown building. Let's go check that out. We haven't done like an adventure episode in a really long time. Oh dear. Get out of my way, beaver. <laughs> Being a dissonant planet, you could probably pick up Gravitino Balls as well. I think it just depend, depends on uh, the severity of the Sentinels. Uh, this planet has sparse Sentinels, so... Uh, oh, this is... Ugh, it's a plaque. Dang it. Um, oops, another one there. Uh, we can try it, because it's not going to be anything major. Even if they do get mad at us, they won't be, like, out of control mad. And we could just walk away from them. Let's pick up another word here. Uh, what's right there? Oh, there's some harmonic scrap right there. How fortuitous. I never knew that that came up like that. Oh yeah, I've seen these before. You can uh, grab that and uh, do these little word game things. And uh, you give it Atlanta Diem and it gives you a code. Uh, I'm not going to give away the Atlanta Diem that I just spent all that time picking up. Uh, we were going towards a Gravitino Ball. That one's right around the corner. Don't do this on a regular Sentinel planet unless you want to fight. So if you're looking for a fight and you see a Gravitino Ball, leave it alone. So we picked up uh, three stars from that, of course. And there they are right there. We'll just walk away. Hey, sodium. Oh, there goes the... As soon as Suit Lady says storm clearing, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? It's the storm crystals will disappear right away. That sound was my shield going down. That electronic sound. Now, while they're uh, chasing me, uh, well, they're searching right now, so I might be able to call my ship. But if they're shooting at you, you can't call your ship. And a really long time ago, that used to be, like, super horrifying. And um, one time I had to tunnel for, like, I don't know, 45 minutes? back to my ship from where I was because I couldn't end the fight. The fight didn't used to end and uh, you'd get that uh, you would get that uh, walker and after the walker you'd get another one and more stuff and worse things. <laughs> and it just wouldn't end. Oh, hello. But since the Sentinels are very low on this planet, you can just pick up stuff and run away. It's fine. Red water. There's not very many knowledge stones. Although I have found a few. What is that right there? That's the abandoned building we were at. There's another uh, dissonance uh, resonator.
we might be able to trade these things. And I think you do need some of these things to make the auto autophage staff. Whoops. Dang it, bugs, leave me alone. Bug, bug, bug. What do we got? Another echo locator. Nice. There we go. Are you just gonna look at me? Bug, bug, bug. <laughs> wow, look at that hydrogen right there. Yes, please. I'm a little bit low on the hydrogen, I think. Uh, what did I have? 95. <laughs> I haven't seen any more red dots. So I... I have the bird. Oh, they must all be fish, eh? They can't all be fish. Underwater. Three underwater. Underground. Three underground and three underwater. Uh, that doesn't seem very likely. Oh, there's a knowledge stone. I can see it on my on my HUD. And there it is in front of me. Geck word for first. As I was uh, coming in to land on this planet, I had one of those uh, space anomalies. And it was the Atlas, uh, an Atlas communication thing. And uh, it scared the heck out of me. <laughs> it was like right in the atmosphere. And I thought, oh, what mission is this? And then I realized it was just uh, a space anomaly that I had pulsed into, you know. Let's see if there's some radiant shards in here. Some of them were. I think some of that was Atlantidium, yep. So we need um, quite a bit, I think, of Atlantidium for the actual autophages because, uh, no, no, uh, because they have, oh, that looks radical. They have um, missions that they ask you to do. They ask you to collect stuff. And I think Atlantidium is one of those things. There's an underground creature. This is the best way to find an underground creature is in the open part of a cave because they do quite often uh, hang out in places like this or in just like you'll come across on lush planets especially you'll come across these just open areas on the ground that you know have all this cave stuff there's another underground creature there's only one more oh my multi duel seems to be out of uh, charge. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, watch this. Woo! <laughs> Oh, there it is. Come back here. Got him. All right. That's all three underground creatures. Let's go see if we can find some deep water. I always leave this to the last, and and then it's like, you know, <laughs> we have six minutes left. Determined. Very cool. I'm glad that we made that. It used to be that you couldn't even leave the atmosphere but that's not true anymore you can spread this out it just keeps count like I showed you uh, in the log there under survival missions uh, I showed you how it, it was keeping count from before so now we're at 4527.9 of 8000 and uh, yeah it's, it's it keeps count you can leave if you want Let's go to the sunny side and try to find some deep water. Or at least water that's deep enough to swim in. There we go. That looks like deep water. <laughs> the 
This is a super huge planet, by the way. And uh, when I was first coming in, I told you that Atlant that Atlas thing got in my way. It was right on the edge of the atmosphere, and I went around it and still was able to pulse because it was still that far away. It just looked like it was like really close. Okay, now then, let's check our water shields. Uh, water shields. There they are, they're both full. This is gonna be cold. It's gonna be very cold. I betcha. Now these uh, crystal sulfide, uh, you can turn them into sodium nitrate. Uh, or you can hang on to them and uh, give them to um, certain uh, guild agents will want crystal sulfide for a donation. Just another way to raise your uh, guild standing there. I still don't see any fish. All right, well, let's scan. There's a crab. Let's see if we can get anywhere near it. Crabs used to disappear. They would just vanish, you know. They're very frustrating. We need to find two fishes. I was grabbing these for the guilds. Get all three? I guess so. It's very shaky. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> There's a red dot. Get a little bit of altitude here. Is that a second crab? Nice! <laughs> That's just hazard protection. That doesn't cover your thermal protection. And we're gonna do the thermal protection. And it looks like we also need to do some liquid protection here. Nope, they're fine. Did the other one just fail? <laughs> oh, that was like the fluid underwater protection thing. Only one to go, man. Uh-oh. You know it would be amazing? Ice. Ice would be absolutely radical. There's an alluring specimen over there. Should I mess with it? What I really want to find is the other creature. Two minutes, huh? <laughs> How about a living pearl? Take that. Uh, there's another one. Where did that alluring specimen go? I don't see him anymore. Oh, there he is over there. Danger, Will Robinson. Here's another one. Is that the same one, or is there two? I think it might be underground, though. Oh dear. I was really hoping to be able to find that last creature. I don't see any red dots. Let's uh, check on its status. Maybe it's supposed to be on the other side of the planet. Uh, let's see here. Rare underwater, always active. not active right now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I hope it's a fish. There we go. It's a third crab. <laughs> Who knew? All right. Where's my shippo? <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in here. 
Well, that was really good. I'm glad we were able to... Actually, I'm not climbing that. I'm glad we were able to... To get all of those. Did I get them all? I got them all. 3,000 nanites. Thank you. Yes. I will. Uh, oops. Let's turn the light on. So we see how pretty it is down here. Be careful of shooting these salt things. They quite often have uh, little tiny jellyfish. They don't count as a creature that you can scan. Uh, but if enough of them hit you, you'll be you'll be hurting for sure. It's only 170 units, but boy, it looks a heck of a lot further than that, doesn't it? Look at the size of that crab. Uh, do I have any food on me? Do I have anywhere to put food? Oops. Where'd that crab go? There he is. Crabs uh, give you berries, I think it is. And we can maybe come down here, maybe we can't. We might not be able to interact with this one, but... There we go, oh, almost. I'm gonna drown trying to interact with this guy. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Uh, scoop edible clusters. There we go. Oh, of course, I didn't have any inventory space. But uh, that's something that you can cook with. Provided you have an open inventory. Sniff, sniff. Empty inventory. Or full inventory. All right, our ship looks just about frozen solid. <laughs> all right, you guys, we collected all the stuff that we need to do the autophage mission, uh, which we will pick up next time. We've got lots of radiant shards, Atlanta DM, uh, four echo locators. Uh, we are not on a Corvax planet. I intentionally came uh, to a different kind of dissonant system. Uh, in this case, Gek. Uh, last season on Voyage to Echoes, we did this on a Viking planet. Boy, it was a struggle. So what we'll do next is uh, we will go to, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, is it, so good? where is it? Um, I can't remember now. I don't think I landed, but uh, we'll go back to the Corvax uh, dissonant. Uh, system that we were in last week where I took that mission. That's where we're going to return to. Uh, and I think you need to go to a Corvax system to make the autophage mission work. But we'll go back there next time and uh, we'll start the autophage uh, up. I hope that you all have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Brr -r 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 -r.